let's just sew whatever hello everybody welcome back to my channel in today's episode 22 of pattern chat uh we have a lot of ground to cover i have been really bad about filming these so i apologize <laughs> um but anyway here we go so we're gonna start off with the lockwood and web oh like two pop-ups there we go okay um, this is the Hearts of Flutter charm. So this is actually just a free little charm pattern. It's so cute. Um, and it looks pretty straightforward. It's a stylish charm with an unlimited number of variations and uses. And it includes printable pattern pieces and SVG files. And it's about 3 by 2.75 high and then half an inch deep. So I think you can like pat it with a little bit of foam. It seems like an incredible scrap buster, really easy to use. I don't know that I recall any of the other Lockwood and Webb patterns, so I'm just kind of going to kind of scroll through. Oh, the Goldfinch Weekender, it sounds familiar. There's a little sparrow, the Peregrine Dop Bag. So I just wanted to kind of touch on that to showcase a pattern designer that I don't recall seeing much of. Um, this next one is from Sacarton. Um, this is the Patron Patron PDF um, Scarabay. Scarab <laughs> anyway, so this looks like um, a framed bag with a lot of fun details. I love that lace. This one's velvet. <clears throat> the pictures make it look really large. But I don't think it's as big as it seems. So let's go ahead and look. Mm -hmm. 20 centimeters at the base. Okay, very cool. Um, so yeah, there is that pattern. It's so cool. There might be an English version, but I am not sure. Um, so this is the Breakthrough Bag from... Um, Abby Corey. Oh, that's cool. There's a little window there. Sorry, I have like three screens set up. So if I seem a little bit like I don't know what I'm doing, it's because I don't... <sighs> So this is a full color sewing pattern. Um, it's an advanced beginner. This breakthrough bag is a perfect everyday bag with a lot of style and personality. While compact, it can carry all of your essentials and will keep your contents organized and secure with its pockets and flap. That's such a fun little opening there. So there's, um, I'm not sure if you could see that, but this has your little snap closure. So it's kind of a fun new technique that you can use oh wow look at that fabric oh, and that's a little clear vinyl that they used super cool all right so this is from spencer og this is the starlight wallet um there is a video tutorial and i think um maybe jess oakleroots did a video as well but this looks like a really simple wallet design. You can use piping if you'd like to, or you can just kind of leave off for a simple look. There's a top zipper, a side zipper, and then I believe there's some card slots. So there's that inside zipper pocket. It's fun. So there you can see the different options. I love the look of the piping on the side of there too. And then it fits perfectly into another style of bag. All right, so this next one is uh, the Jackie Lynn lookbook. I'm not quite sure. Oh, okay. Is this all of her patterns? Or... Oh, wow. So fun. It all kind of looks like one bag. Um, so I will try to include the link for this one as well, but um, this is the only link I was provided. Looks like a really cool pattern, though. 
All right, this is the Becky bag from Toby Stylix. This bag is so cool. Um, I've been seeing on her Instagram all the ones she's made, and each one is stunning, and I just absolutely love that little um, charm, the butterfly charm. Butterfly bow situation. It's an iconic handbag inspired by the Birkin bag, but with a different and very easy construction method. It is elegant and will make a perfect work bag for a career and or business person. And I could totally see that. Like, it seems really achievable. And there is minimal hardware. Like, you could make it with a zipper and call it a day. Um, and then Michelle Graham has a video tutorial for the pattern as well. And it's just so cute. Um, I believe there's magnetic snaps that hold the sides in. But yeah, look at those details. Incredible. Incredible. All right, this next one is from Sally Tomato. This is the Louise um, little wallet frame bag with some fringe. It looks fun. A good um, skill builder, especially with that hardware. This next one is the Mara Clutch and Shoulder Bag. It's from the Bag Making Academy. This looks so cool. I know my friend Amber made one of these, so it looks like it could be a wristlet, um, but you can also add that chain strap. That's a fun little slip pocket. Oh, that one's pretty fun. The Elise Curvy Zipper Pouch. I love all these fabrics together too. Grommet Strap Connector, those look fun. Anyway, so that is the Bag Making Academy Mara Clutch Wallet. This one is from Bagstock Designs. This is the Era, yeah, Era Tote. And this one looks really fun, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's It very much reminds me of the Davina Tote, um, but kind of smaller scale down a little bit. 13 wide, 14 high, four and a half inches deep. So it's a good medium size to large size work bag. I love my background, you can see, anyway. Um, it's got that top zippered closure. I really like that offset zippered pocket. It's really fun. Oh, that's a cute picture. So yeah, this one looks like a really good travel bag. It looks like a really good skill builder. So if you're just starting out with bag making, this looks like it could be a really good way of building your skills because you've got that like almost quilted, but really it's just piecing that front panel you could duplicate that on the back. So very good staple bag. Uh, the Corbis Adventure Bag. This one is so cool. So it's got two zipper pockets on the front and then it's kind of like a train case almost, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, so it's like a lunch box. All right, let me just read it. <laughs> I'd like to introduce the Corbis Adventure Bag pattern. When I first created this, I wanted to create an insulated bag I could take to shows that was big enough to hold bottles of water and snacks for an entire day. When my testers created this pattern, they came up with all sorts of uses like a crafting carrier, makeup travel bag, and one even suggested a cooler they could take drinks and snacks to their son's sports game. The pattern has endless endless uses. <laughs> Looses. So yeah, this seems really cool. Oh, look at that shield. Meant to be backpack. That's so fun. Um, this is from Nerd Artistry, in case I didn't say, um, and as always, the links are down below in the order that I mention the patterns. It may not be super easy to see which is which, but you need to look at them all anyway. They're all amazing. <laughs> all right, this one is the Little Mama. This one is from... Why doesn't Etsy tell you the name of the shop, like, right there? Here I am, like... Where'd it go? Jill. Uh, from Kite Co. Creates. I was like, what is happening? Um, so this one has that front zipper down the front. This, to me, looks like a good like fanny pack crossbody size. Oh, I love a video. So you can slide your phone in there. A nice little gusset with the strap connectors in the side. Oh, that slip pocket is so cute. Love me a slip pocket. And then you would open it up. I can't tell if it's finished with binding. I would imagine it is. 
Looks like there's a little slip pocket. Oh, look at that one. That one's really good. Downloading your files, information. Love that. Um, I know my friend Fran made one of these and it looked so good. This one looks like a really good all skill levels kind of a bag as well. So love that. This next one is from Noodlehead. This is the Harrelson. Harrelson, yeah, belt bag. This one looks really cute. I love the um, clip in the front. It's a nice big zipper pocket in the back. Very achievable um, skill. I like the flap on there. And it's very chic. I love it with the um, flip lock on there. Noodle head patterns are always so gorgeous to me. They're very like simple, elegant. Like that just to me looks so elegant, um, classy, timeless. And with that raw leather, mm, so good. And even that, that looks so simple. So this one looks like one you definitely want to add to your collection. It doesn't take a ton of hardware, minimal zippers. There's kits on the their website and then the leather and Chicago screws, one inch wide webbing. Very cool. All right, this one is the quilted Hortensia barrel bag. It's on sale right now because she just released yet another pattern, which is the, um, the quilted beast, the mini beast. Um, which I definitely want to make. Uh, the quilted Hortensia barrel bag is super cute. It is finished with binding on the sides and it's like a really small, not really small, but it's definitely an elegant make and there's all different options for quilting um, and then you can use a like half moon magnetic snap or you can use a turn lock on that flap. You can see there. And that one is from Nova's Knits. So cool. Look at that accent. Ugh, she's so talented. All right, this next one is from Lynn's Handmade. This is the Andrew Trifold Wallet. Um, this one is a really awesome, um, like, young, young man, teenager, but any kid as well, little wallet pattern. But I have seen ones that are made very classy and with, like, a chain super cool so it's made with any non-fraying material um i don't believe that there are hacks for cottons just yet but it is finished with like a faux self binding method um i've not had a chance to make this one but it looks so cool and the next one is from chaos kona designs this is the heartbreaker so there's all different ways of making this. There was a marathon of videos from so many different incredible sewists making this, so definitely check that out. Um, there's a pattern bundle that you can grab, but I think it's um, there's a wristlet size and then a full size version. And they're so cute. Look at that little cutie. Oh my gosh, they're all so good. So it's just a really neat, like, here's how to make it, run with it type thing. So you can see there is just a little bit of a gusset there, so it opens really wide. All right, this next one is from Selar. This is the Nikki Trifold wallet pattern. This one looks really cool. Yeah, so it's a raw edged pattern. It looks like you kind of trim it all down in the end so it's a nice clean finish. Looks like a really fun one to do edge coating on to practice. But yeah, that looks like a fun one. This is from Chris W. Designs. This is the ruffled runaway pattern. Oh my goodness, look at those straps. It's such a nice size bag. Oh my goodness. Look at the bats. It's freaking bats. This is a cute, modern, and fun sew. It features a front and back center pocket, perfect for your phone or sunglasses, and two handy side slip pockets to drop your keys into. The main compartment closes with a recessed zipper and is quite roomy. 
This bag has ruffled straps and an optional crossbody strap with clips into optional grommets on the side. This looks like a really nice size. And the ruffled straps are just so fun. If I made it, I probably would not make it with ruffled straps only because of um, sensory issues. I feel like that could get a little uncomfortable, but as a crossbody, I think it's a really good option. Um, but yeah, what a classic shape. I love it. Mm, beautiful. And there is a free video available that you can watch. All right, so this next one is from Needle and Anchor. This is the Aphrodite Versa bag. Um, there's two options. There's one with like a built-in handle that looks so fun. Um, and then there's just the crossbody version, which is very beginner friendly. Um, so I love patterns that kind of offer two skill levels that you can grow with. So I think that's genius. Definitely looks like a fun one. And then there are um, discounts, I think, in her Facebook group if you join. So that's fun. But yeah, this one, this one looks really cool. I love that handle. All right, the next one is the Morgan bag from Deja Designs. Oh man, I love the look of this, oh my gosh. So it has almost like a snowdrop from Blue Cala look to it, but it has the like sides that unsnap to extend out. A nice zipper placard. And then you can see there's tons of room inside. There's two sets of slip pockets. There might be a zipper pocket and it could be that that's optional, but look at how cute that is. Oh my God. Mmm, that's nice. I just love a classy handbag. I don't, I don't know what to say. I think it's so fun how like wide it can open up room for all kinds of things. I can't tell if there's two sizes or not. Oh, look at that one, so fun. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love the fringe, oh my gosh. Um, this listing includes SVG files. Please go to the other listing if you don't want them. Okay. Let's see. It's a medium sized bag. Versatile and customizable. Easy to make your own. There is a video tutorial by Michelle Graham of M. Graham Sews. And um, yeah, that's, that's a nice bag. <laughs> I really like that one. All right, this one is um, the Breeze handbag. I'm trying to see who it's from. It's on Payhip. Um, there are several video tutorials, one from Jolili Creations, one from Craftfully Made, and there's all kinds of files that are attached. Um, I think this one has hidden connectors on the side. But yeah, it. what a simple yet effective bag. Like it's got a nice size to it, but it holds pretty much everything you would need for like a quick work day. This also looks like a really good one to throw inside of a bigger handbag um, to use almost as like a divider. There are two sizes. Suitable for beginners, top zipper panel, two exterior slip pockets, two slip pockets and a zippered pocket inside. Oh, it's so cute. So many fun options. All right, this next one is the Compton from Simply Classic. It is a large yet slim carry-all bag with a center zippered compartment. The feminine shape of this bag is an eye-catcher and loved by everyone who sees it. She features large, three large compartments for wallets and essentials. Essentials. Whoa. That is very cool. So it really does have like a center divided um, section. Nice wide gusset. And then that really fun curved top edge. Looks like a good skill builder for sure. I love that. That's so cool. All right. Next one is from Nice Dress. Thanks, I made it. This is the 
espresso wallet. All right, let's see here. Okay, looks like it opens up to hold eight, one, two, maybe 12, one, two, three, yeah, maybe 12 card slots. I could also read, so there's that. There's a wristlet strap. Looks like it can be made with a uh, raw edge materials, but let's go ahead and scroll down and like read through. It's a nice size. There's a top zipper compartment. I love that one. That's so fun. All the different things inside. Oh, and it does come with projector files, so that's fun. Let's see, PDF sewing pattern. Your espresso will have a finished size of approximately 10 and a half inches long, five and a half inches tall, and when opened, five and a half by five and a half. Oh, I'm sorry, when it's closed. <clears throat> the espresso is a raw edge, fully lined wallet with one zipper pocket, 12 card slots, and one large slip pocket for cash and receipts. Very cool. Um, I sewed my espresso wallet on my Janome HD 3000 and my Janome MC8 200 QCP, both domestic machines, not industrials. Very cool. And there is a YouTube tutorial from Michelle Graham. Dang. Go, Michelle, go. Um, and then a few other testers as well. Very cool. This next one is from um, Izaziah. This is the Celia backpack. This one looks really cool. It's a backpack pattern with a main zip opening front zip pocket, bottle umbrella pocket on both sides, and a slip pocket inside the bag. You can sew piping on this bag to get a sturdy bag shape. I love the backpack straps on this one. Very nice. I love that quilting on the back panel. It looks like a really nice classic backpack shape. Um, I love that front curved zipper pocket, great for panels. Yeah, the piping looks really good. Um, let's see. I'm not seeing if... Yeah, there is binding. It is finished with binding. Yeah, looks like a really good shape. Um, the side pockets have a nice cargo shape to them. And then the front pocket, I can't tell if it's... Okay, it kind of looks like... Yeah, it's a little bit gusseted on that front pocket. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that Hello Kitty one. Very cool. All right, what's next? The Piper Wristlet from Pure Periwinkle Patterns. <laughs> really tripped me up. I feel, why do I feel like I've seen this one? So there's a slip pocket on the front and then a nice zippered pocket on the top and a wristlet strap. Oh, and then there's a, a slip pocket as well. I could hardly see it. Oh, that's so fun. Um. There is a video tutorial with it as well, and the finish size is eight by five. This next one is from Frankie T. This is the Naked Bag. Oh, it looks like a corset, that's so cool. <laughs> Intermediate and advanced are subjective terms. This is not the best choice for someone who prefers to work with videos and photographs or for a beginner bag maker. This is a blank canvas waiting for your creative flair. Each part of the bag is clearly marked for matching and for placement of hardware. Those accustomed to working with professional commercial patterns will be able to easily follow the instruction set. I make it a point to test with non-native English speakers to assure the clarity of the instructions. They can, the instructions are illustrated and go step by step. It's so cool. Garment weight leather. Okay. So it's $20 for the pattern. And it looks like it is finished with a gusset. That's so cool. So there's a few options of how to make it. Oh. But it looks like a really elegant size. 
Um, but yeah, kind of like a blank canvas, kind of how it says, naked. I still can't tell. Okay, maybe it's not a gusset. Maybe it's like side panel and bottom. I don't see any pictures of the bottom of the bag to really confirm. But looks like a fun one. All right, this next one is the Andorra bag. This is from EN Designs. This one looks really cool. I love the front shape. It's very much like a fossil bag to me. So it's got like a slip pocket, the top zipper, and then a zipper pocket underneath. So there's like the placard on the front that contains all the pockets Addie makes. I really like that. And then the bottom um, vinyl leather accent is a really nice touch as well. Yep, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, this next one is the lapel clutch sewing pattern with videos from Scratch and Stitch. This is a really fun, like, juxtaposed look. Um, very modern and, like, artsy. I love the piece together front and back panel. Very, very fun color blocking and using up scraps. Um, and honestly, beginner friendly because if you can't really sew a straight line, like, it's not going to look off because it's a little, uh, ta -ta. I'm like, tri triazontal is the word that comes to my mind. And that's not a word. So here we are. It's fine. Um, this is from Cherishing Today. This is the Truth Backpack. It can be made with clear vinyl and then I think non-clear vinyl as well. Um. Or maybe it is just with clear vinyl. It'd make a great Eda bag. Yeah, that's true. Because then you could just enter, enter in what you need. But it's like a nice boxy backpack with a zippered top. And then a really fun, like a fun way of doing the webbing on the back. Super cool. And I think there's, yeah, there's the standard version and then the small version. But yeah, that like back handle is so cute. Super unique and a great way to use up webbing, too. All right, this is from Delight Some Crafts. This is the Ajoke wristlet. Um, let's see what... The pictures are so small. I can't zoom in. Over here, look. Let me put my glasses on. Oh, this one's fun. There's some fringe... There's that zipper pocket on the top and two slip pockets. I'm trying to look at the size. Looks like a nice size. And then there's just one snap in the bottom corner. Super cute. And then there's also the ellipse crossbody bag pattern um, and possibly some other ones. Let's take a look. Oh, there's just two. That's a nice start though. Oh, that's fun. Do I, I feel like I've seen it, but maybe I haven't. <gasps> look at that. Oh, that's cool. I feel like I've seen this. Yeah, I've seen this. That's pretty cool. So now she's got a second pattern to add to her collection. Okay, this is the Mika Essential Oil or Toiletry Bag from Katrina. Katarina. I'm so sorry. Katarina. Yeah. Oh, look at that. All right, you can see the instructions. I really love when people give an idea of what their instructions look like. But it looks like a pretty straightforward, very nice little compartment for nail polish, essential oils. There you go. You can see somebody made it into like a little manicure bag, which is kind of genius, honestly. I love that. All right, this is the Mav Pack from Lynn's Handmade as if it needs an introduction. Um, super quick, uh, unique construction for a little crossbody bag. It is not finished with binding. I have not made one yet and I hope to. Um, um, and yeah. Hi, Emma. Um, I just, I'm excited to make one. I'm gonna try to make one today. I already bought the templates. Um, but again, it's one of those, like, when you're overwhelmed with all of the options, it's nice to just have something simple 
that you can you can count on it. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to make one where I finish the front as she shows in the pattern and then the back panel I'm going to finish with binding just to see how it works. Um, my friend Jen did that and I was like, I want to wear army pants and flip flops too. Okay, this next one is from Blue Calla. This is the Salvia Supply Stand. Oh, it's so cute. Um, it's a small stand that can be used for a variety of purposes. It can hold sewing supplies, craft supplies, art supplies. And as you can see in the testing photos, gardening supplies, the possibilities are endless. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. I see that it stands up. It's like a triangular unit. But what and why? You know what I mean? Like, explain why I need this. I guess it would be nice when you're traveling to the different sewing retreats to, like, have something that sits on your table that holds all of your supplies. Let's see here. Nope, that doesn't explain it either. Well, that's really cool, though. Like... Just something that can sit on your table and stand up and you can see everything that it's easy to take with you. That's pretty neat. I like it. Not that it matters. All right, this one is the Sophia Satchel from Maggie55. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. A very classy handbag shape. It's got the expandable sides. Double section interior version. I'm just gonna let this do the work. <clears throat> I just love all the colors too. All right, let's read about it, shall we? This is a PDF pattern for both the single interior and the double interior version. The pattern is a digital download and you can um, buy one or the other, but this is the bundle. So let's read about the pattern. Yeah, this will show us some different... This is the single interior. Oh. Are you not gonna... You're not gonna do this thing anymore? Um, well, it looks like there's some piping on that front flap. That's a fun skill builder. There's a top handle. Need some bag stiffener, foam, etc. Yeah. I'm sold. Ooh, the princess evening clutch. That's a fun one. All right, this is from an, uh, an Aliti design. This is the Issa Page purse. Issa Page. I'm so sorry. Um, this looks like a raw edge wallet. Very sleek design. There is a video tutorial included. I was like, whoa, this is huge. That's a tiny chair. Okay, great. We'll get there. <laughs> there we go. There it is in a hand. Oh, I love the size of it. Oh, that's cool. So that is a slip pocket there. You've got plenty of card slots. There's a back zippered pocket. Definitely an awesome wallet. This is not a bag. It is a steering wheel cover, so it's an accessory for your car. Um, but this is from my friend Brittany at the Emporium. So there's all different options. There's the one way of doing it, then you could section it with um, six pieces, and then I think there's more pieces as well. Oh wow, look at that. That one's nice. I could read the instructions. Or the thing. Yes, there's the single piece, there's a split design, a six piece patchwork, and then an eight piece patchwork. So if you have tiny little scraps of knit fabric just sitting around, you can use it up now. It's so fun. All right, there's this one is from KR Threads. This is the R R C O crossbody bag. This is definitely on my list to make. It looks like the Zyna crossbody bag, but maybe a little bit scaled down, a little less options, um, but still super cute. There's that, um, this divider pocket is something I'm really excited to do, to do, to do, to do, to make. 
And like, it's just such a cute little size. I love it. All right, this next one is from Country Cow Designs. This is the Ketamoth Messenger Bag. Kitty Moth. Um, this one looks really nice too. I love watching Adam's videos about it, but he wanted um, something a little more masculine for um, a messenger bag. And I think this one's really cool because you still have the option of a flap, but it's not like a something you gotta lift up and you just you unzip and there you go. Um, it looks like it is finished off with binding, so it's gonna have a lot of structure along the sides. And it's just such a cute shape. Like it can be um, very gender neutral. It could be very feminine. It could be very masculine. However you wanted to dress it up. I love the options. And it looks like a really nice structure while still being domestic friendly because I know um, Country Cow sews on domestics primarily. Um, this one is from Knotted Thread Co. This is the Aries crossbody bag. This is a chef kiss of patterns. Um, I love watching Shannon work. Her videos are incredible and her patterns are top notch. Top not. I'll leave now. Um, but I thought it was so cool. She did a video showing that you could make just like a wristlet out of the main piece as well. So I thought that was a really cool option of just being able to Again, you have one pattern you're purchasing, but it's more value because you can use those pattern pieces to make something else, etc. Um, lots of zipper pockets, and there are free videos you can watch to make it. This is from Flutter by a Rainbow. Oh my god, that's the cutest name. Uh, this is the Moody Market Apron. Um, and this is from the Moody Sewist. Um, so it looks really cool, like, as a vendor, if you need a, an apron with all the things, here it is. So cool. Um, and then this is the, oh, ha, I already did that one. Great. And that is it. That's the end. That's the TikTok. <laughs> um, thank you so much for hanging out and watching. I know this was a long one because I procrastinated making this video. Okay. I hope you enjoyed. I can't wait to see you in episode 23 and have a good day. Have a good weekend. Have fun sewing. Okay. Bye.